This is code.org. I'm working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 9, Sprite Movement, Part 13. Rotation, rotation Direction. When you use the counter pattern for the rotation property with addition, the object will always rotate clockwise. Sometimes, however, you will want your sprite to rotate the other direction. To do this, you can just use subtraction. Ah, that makes sense. So similar to movement, uh, if you want your sprite to go to the left, you need to use subtraction. So if it's always going to go clockwise, and if you're not remembering clockwise, that would be this way, the mouse, right? Uh, to go the other way, you can use negative, right? So you can subtract to make it rotate the other way. Do this. There are three gear icons set up for you. You need to make the gears all look like they're rotating in sync with each other. I guess like this. Make the gears rotate so they look like they're they're working as one system. Hint. They won't rate. Oh, are they not? Oh, no, of course not. So they're not rotating in the same direction. Let's see what we have thus far. Okay. So they set us up with the animation, but we need the rotating part. So this is going to go clockwise, it looks. This is going counterclockwise, and this guy is going clockwise. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so we just have draw sprites. Hmm. And that's what's happening. So I think what we're going to do then, let's go over here to sprites. Um, actually, no, we're going to need to start with math. And... Plus, wait a minute, variable, there we are. Okay, so we want the background at top, like always, because that way, um, each time it moves, it gets drawn over when the draw loop reruns. So it does not stay on screen. So equals, and then, well, I guess we need three of these, one for each gear. Okay, let's go over to sprites, and then we need our sprites. Right, which is going to equal blue green, yes. Do they want us to use nope. Alright, cool. So we need to use sprite dot rotation here and here, because we're changing the rotation property of each sprite. And then we need okay, so I believe the green Yes, and the red are clockwise. So that will be addition. So let's go over to math. But da, I'll put I'll make that one the red. We'll make this one the green. And then I guess blue will be a subtraction. Make sure you change these, right? Because we created variables. Their names are blue gear, green gear, red gear. Well, they were already created for us. Right, and make sure, so, so this is blue, and then gear, I need to make sure to capitalize that G for gear. Green and gear, and then red and gear. Okay, so our clockwise ones are positive, alrighty. And then what we need to do is, nope, variables. We want to take what the last number was for the rotation, and just add a bit to it. So let's put in blue gear again. So whatever blue's gear's rotation was, we want to add, I have no idea. Let's, ah, uh-oh, that wasn't on purpose. We want that back up there. Let's shrink this over. Oh no, all right. So whatever blue gear's rotation was, let's add, I don't know, three to it. And we can kind of check the speed as we go. And now, and so we're saying, hey, blue, blue gear, blue gear dot rotation now equals whatever it was before plus three. So each time it runs, we're moving it over three. All right. And then we're going to do the same with this one, except we have a green gear dot rotation and blue green oh see and now i'm getting these mixed up all right we want the blue down here and the blue should be negative i'm just gonna kind of throw these somewhere perfect and the 
blue should be negative and the green sh the greens at the bottom so it's red blue red blue green yes all right green's going to be blue's going to be negative so blue gear negative 3 cuz it's in the middle and then red will be positive clockwise I'm going to hit control Z to undo red will be positive so we need this up here and we're just going to make it say the red gear red dot rotation red gear dot rotation so we're going to set that property up and then we're going to add and I thought we would try 3 at first and then sprite dot rotation and the sprite down here is the green sprite and this is also going to be positive so green gear um so we're going to add three to it all right let's see how this looks clockwise clockwise and let's look at theirs up oh, theirs is moving a bit faster right so maybe 10 Gonna hit reset and run. Whoa, way too fast. All right, so I'm gonna try five, and I think that will get us there. Five. I think we have it, and they're all rotating in the correct direction. So, what I needed was to use the gear dot or the sprite dot rotation property our red gear gr blue gear and green gear rotation and then each time this loop runs i add one to or i add five to the red gear i i, I subtract five from the blue gear for its rotation and then i add five for the green gears rotation property now watch what happens if i get rid of this background i just set it up here it's going to immediately fill because we're no longer clearing the screen, right? We never clear it. So it's just leaving each little movement on there. So it looks like it covers it. Boom. All right. Well, that looks good. We have done it. Let's uh, keep going.